Capricorns, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to be getting insight for November 2021. What to say yes to, what to say no to. Interesting. This card feels different because it's... it's the, I'm just going to read into that for a second. Hanged man coming out upright. Felt weird there and I looked and it was turned upside down, which should not... Interesting. All right, so hanged man comes out. That's Piscean energy. It's also slow energy, getting perspective, sacrificing something to sometimes get perspective. I'm just gonna, I'm all which way. That's weird. Just discombobulated all of a sudden. All right, let's just, I've done a pre shuffle on all of these cards. All right, Capricorns, one more shuffle. New spirit. If this resonates, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing, you guys. Let's um, get some insight on which Capricorns I'm talking to. Which Capricorns I'm talking to. We've got the Emperor card, taking control, boss energy. Which Capricorns am I speaking with? Coming out with a card that looks very similar. A lot of red in these cards, and this is the Hierophant. This is uh, inst rules over institutions, marriage, belief systems, and commitments. So we're going to get an idea after I lay these all out. But first, we need to get a few more. So please bear with me. Um, I wonder if somebody here in the picture is out of balance. That's one thing to consider if you're somebody's drinking too much or out of balance, not enough sleep or something. That's something to consider. Uh -huh. I feel that there is a resistance to something, possibly inside a relationship, a commitment. Even, you know, for some of you guys, this isn't romantic at all. This is an institution, something you work for, maybe a hospital, maybe a um, educational system. But this is you... This is your the boss energy, I feel like. Emperor, let me just see. Let's just see. I feel like it is. But um, these are all pre-shuffled, but let me get some insight. There's something here that's been a shake-up, something that you had no control over. You can only control your reaction in a situation like the, like the tower. And you know what's funny is I've been using this deck of cards for two years, and I've never noticed until now that there is a crown in this picture right here and there's a crown right here on his head and they are almost identical that is nuts what I'm seeing here I think that your pride has been wounded I think somebody knocked off your crown I think that some of you guys have been fired I think some of you guys have been fired from very high positions I think that right now you're focused on healing because this shook you up. Please be considerate of balance. Please be considerate if you are drinking too much or you are out of balance somehow because of this um, because of this experience. Please clarity on the emperor energy. You know, this wants to fly out. I'm not gonna take it, but the chariot coming out with Right, yeah, this is somebody who very much had, you know, I think this is you, Capricorn. I think that this is somebody who really had their, you know, investments all in place, like their money, their, you know, King of Pentacles is definitely somebody who knows where their money is, knows how to make money. They got that boss energy as well. And they can be analytical. They can be structured and practical. I feel like people looked up to you in this position. Um, I just feel like there's a responsible, like a responsible energy, um, and I, I not, something didn't go well. I think that something could have gone well, something had potential, and it just it fucking fell on its face. Excuse my language, but it just flopped, and um, it's left you rattled, um, possibly questioning. Let's see what this institution or your commitments. Why are we getting the hierophant for Capricorns here? Yeah, you put a lot of work in this and it's kind of like how can i put so much work into something that you feel almost now you haven't gotten the seven of swords or a deceptive card here um but i think it's kind of like yeah we're getting another six of yeah 
you, this this hurt you like this you're I think you're struggling to get this, resol this resolved inwardly because it's like how can you put throw yourself into this commitment how can you throw yourself for some of you guys it's actually religiously connected but how can you throw yourself into this be looked up uh, people looking you why am I having a hard time talking looking up to you and um for it to go so wayward okay um clarity on this tower oh my god you guys got the tower on top of the tower. I'm sorry, this is rough. Don't worry, it's gonna work out. But I, I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna work out, you guys. It's very important to know with the tower. I mean, there's only one of these cards in each deck of 78. So we're listening right now, okay? It's one of the strongest cards in the deck. When you get the tower, it means your life needed to change like that. It needed to change. The universe stepped in whatever you want to call it angels the universe karma but it stepped in quickly and it enough to make your head spin because it's it was time for your like if your life was a train this picked up the train and set it on a whole another set of tracks you can't quite see it yet it's too new you're focused on like trying to grasp for balance and like safety and you're, you're like swimming to the shore and you're grasping onto rocks, anything like you're going to be fine. But keep in mind when things flip to this degree, you know, when you fall from your throne or your crown gets knocked off, something is waking you up. I wouldn't be surprised if we got the judgment card. I want to know why you're getting this, uh, Temperance card upside down. All right. Yep. You guys are resisting something. And I think it's throwing your life out of balance in some way. I keep on thinking uh, some of you guys might be overindulging with alcohol or, you know, sleep or I don't know about sleep. It just feels like sweets just to let you know. And I do this, say this with all due respect. Um, if you do remove yourself and resist what's actually happening, this is, this is a death that's actually occurring. And a really good, like, it's not, very rarely is it literal. It's not a literal death. It's a death to a cycle in most cases. Okay. Um, it's it, but the resistance of this, the unwillingness to look at this in its face, the resistance to move and go with the flow and the stubbornness I'm seeing here, it, it is going to, it's throwing you out of balance and it's putting off a transformation. It's making it more painful. It's making it a lot harder on you guys um, if you don't go with the flow, okay? Yep, if you don't listen to High Priestess. That's intuition, gut. So that leads me to this, right? I know that you guys are just, you're struggling to get balance, but then you're throwing yourselves back out of balance somehow probably in the 3D world, things you're consuming or what something you're doing with your body or whatever. With all due respect, I'm gonna to speak to you like a Capricorn can respect, stop it. Be straightforward with you guys. I know y'all can respect that. I know Capricorns can handle that. All right, so what are we gonna say yes to in November? How are we gonna get back into balance? How do we go forward, my Capricorns? In November, 2021, please make a great start. Thank you. Judgment card, what did I say? Wouldn't be surprised if a judgment card. Yep, the sun. You guys, it's gonna get better and it's gonna get better quickly and it's gonna get way better. Nine, this is beautiful, beautiful. We have the judgment. This is a huge wake up call for a lot of you guys. Okay, this is a general reading. All of you guys are doing going through different things, but this is affecting some of, for some of you guys, your work, your home, your religion, your partners. This is huge ripple effects in your life. This is affecting what you're committed to, your belief systems, but you're going towards something so much better, so much better. What are we, and no, quickly, and in November, this is all gonna turn around. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put that right like that. Yes to, what do we say yes to? The Capricorns in November, what do we say yes to? You make your own future. The cards don't tell your future. 
This is just reading what's possible and what the energies are currently, okay? All right. So, oh, this is interesting. Clarity on that pool, please. Clarity on that pool. Flipping in the deck, we've got the, the uh, but not flying, we've got the Ace of Cups. All the cards are getting funky. Okay, the Magician. Interesting contrast. One sec, you guys. Look at the world. I'm feeling that you guys, some of you guys are going to be moving. Like some of you guys are going to be somehow working remotely from a distance, starting something new, like totally new. This would be, but like, this is not about starting on it like physically yet. Like don't make any um, like physical decisions just yet. This is about like giving yourself time to percolate, to think things up. Um, that's going to be about communication, possibly overseas. It's going to be about getting that inspiration of the magician um, together. So November is going to be a big manifesting, a big balance finding. Um, you are going to, as soon as you um, stop resisting this change in the current moment, or that has just happened, you're going to be completing a huge transformation. This is a big wake up call and it's going to make you so much happier. Um, I think that some of you guys, your communities are going to be changing. Um, a lot of you guys, your commitments are basically going to be changing. I think that distances could pl uh, play a role, possibly, you know, um, working a distance away, but you are now like in the you're saying yes to in November, you're going to say yes to the magician um, energy, which is the manifester. Like start getting those wheels turning. Like what makes you happy? What is the new life that you want and that you love? What if, what would happen if you stopped resisting the current and you listen to what flows? Like what is, what comes easy to you? Because whatever was not coming easy before, this is why you got the tower. This is why the universe picked you up off the set of tracks that you're on is because you're just pushing through with your Capricorn, you know, steady as it goes up the mountain, no matter what, it might take me forever, but I'm gonna get to the top, that stubborn, amazing worker energy. It sometimes bypasses and and it, 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 um, puts its head down and it pushes through intuition and doesn't listen to the signs and doesn't listen to the fact that life has been getting harder and harder and harder. And this is why finally the universe is like, okay, we're going to just shake your shit up. We're going to totally change your life overnight. We're going to pick you up off the set of tracks, put you on another set of tracks. And here's your chance because in a sense, you've lost everything that you were familiar with, you know, or at least your, your sense of identity was changed by this. And so in a way you were starting from scratch. And so when you hit that bottom, only then can you find out where that ground is, that you're standing on solid ground. So you're bouncing back up in the month of November, but it's important not to rush into putting into action. You know, like you, uh, allow yourself to imagine allow yourself to start those conversations that are going to get the wheels going you know um this feels really good like uh some inner conflict coming up with why are we getting the five of wands i want to know okay why are we getting the five of wands perhaps what's this about <laughs> like where did the card go it flew I flew out. No, nope, guess not. Flipping. There's a couple people popping up here. Yeah, there might be some romance. Um, there might could there could be some um, arguments coming up or some uh, inner conflict around something romantic here, an offer. There might be a little bit of partying. You might be enjoying how, uh, yeah, just be aware of um, focusing on what makes you happy without getting it too sticky between others. You know, this 
there is a couple people popping up here in regards to kind of like going out libations having fun and um, it could create conflict but you know this is all in your say yes to pile so i mean shoot if you're having fun and nobody's getting too hurt i mean the five of wands is not serious i mean it's just like competition and it's sometimes conflict so it feels like you're kind of out in the game you might be very um you're recreating your identity a little bit. You might be um, aware of how people see you. You might be getting a couple of offers coming in, some sexy people out there. Um, yeah, just have fun and enjoy the competition. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get an idea of what you should say no to Capricorns, okay? I mean, besides obviously going off the rails and partying too much and, um, <laughs> temperance upside down what do we say no to for capricorns all right all right we've got two of cups coming out with uh-huh and three of pentacles and king of pentacles um you don't need to go back to that old identity and there might be actually something that you there's a group of people here it could be family members it could be um co-workers it could be but collaborative card of um the three of pentacles it could even be a therapist but yeah there's if this is the five of swords and in stark contrast so like the five of wands is competition a little um conflict but it's not harsh i think five of swords is being right uh at all um at all costs and so in regards to this partnership for some of you guys that's going to be straight up romantic there's a lot of anxiety to be had here possibly some pressure um in this partnership to work together to make things work um and we've got the because it might be um for fiscal reasons it might pan out you might actually they might want your money <laughs> you're like it, it it works out because um you can provide security maybe to them or something um but you're being called to yeah you may independently have the ability to make money you've got the skill set to even build on that and i think that you that, that you for some of you guys you are building independently and they kind of want to clip your wings a little bit they want a piece of that pie because they know that you um on your own already you had that crown for a reason right um you did that yourself and so grabbing hold uh, trying to get a free ride on that or you know trying to collaborate somehow uh, get back together work together um it seems like a good idea for them but is it going to pay out for you um there's some um... yeah Whoops, let's just, let's just push that all up there. We don't need that. Yeah, you are gonna, yeah, don't, if you're feeling at all indecisive, if you're feeling cloudy around this, if you're feeling conflict or, you know, kind of like somebody's proving, trying to prove something right or you're trying to prove something right, don't be enticed by that, okay? Um, even if there's money at the end of it, uh, there's potential money, I wouldn't be tricked into that, okay? Focus on your independence, focus on this new you, focus on getting balance, not overdoing it. If you don't mind, please take my advice, please consider it, you guys, because Temperance is actually saying, hey, you're gonna be out of balance if you keep on doing this and what you really need to do is not resist this big change, even though it rattled your shit up and Capricorns do not like that, but but you've got this. It's actually going to be really great in November. I'm excited for you guys. I'm sending you love. I will see you soon for your next readings. Bye. Please like and subscribe.